Now, President Muhammadu Buhari says ethnicity and religion are not to blame for Nigeria's problems, but the people. Receiving a compendium of his administration's achievements from the Buhari Support Group, one of the youth groups backing his presidency and actions on national issues, the president says injustice is a major challenge in the country. He made reference to his struggles to get justice after disputed results of the presidential elections in 2003, 2007 and 2011. And then in 2011, because I was so persistent, who was the chief of justice? Mustafa, a full any man like me, <laughs> from Jigawa, from Jigawa, the neighbor of Utume State, he dismissed the case. I have taken you around this to prove to you that our problem is not ethnicity or religion, it is ourselves. I refuse to give up. I tried to wear Agbada after what happened to me in Kaki. You know, because I did, something was done to me because I did something to others. You know it. In the end, I myself was arrested, still in uniform, sent in detention. They were given back what they have taken, and they were released. And I was there for three and a quarter years. This is Nigeria. And I hope the historians and the intellectuals will document this because it's a fantastic state of political development. President Muhammad Buhari of Nigeria. And it's exactly that tone of voice and line of reasoning which has led to widespread criticism of his style of governance and relationship with a cross section of Nigerians, many of whom accuse him of nepotism, clannishness, and being unduly obsessed with himself. Are they being fair to the president? And given his style and the ravaging insecurity across the land, particularly since his assumption of office, has he managed Nigeria's diversity well? Joining us now to consider these questions and a lot more is Asukwa Mendi Achibong, a lawyer and public affairs analyst. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, we, we definitely seem to be a, a lot more fractured at this point in time than ever before. Right now you're hearing um, different voices calling for uh, a separate state calling for a separate nation for themselves. I mean, in almost a, 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 every section of the country, in the southeast, in the in the southwest, uh, you have the the north um, east uh, refusing to um, uh, be, be, be a part of the federation. The northwest as well, uh, people are, are pick, uh, taking up arms. Uh, people are acting against the state. The state does not seem to have the monopoly of uh, um, uh, of, of violence anymore. So it, it, it's, it's, it appears that um, the country is a lot more fractured than before. What is um, this government actually really doing now uh, to address the, the, the situation where we find ourselves in terms of uh, the discordant voices uh, amongst the nation? Uh, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot that this administration is doing. Uh, ideally, this administration would be expected to put the president uh, forward to visit the different parts of the country, especially the hotbed parts of this country, and to have a much more balanced appointment uh, in, in his cabinet and, and outside of the cabinet, in the ministries, in the agencies, in the, in the federal departments, and, and then to move around as well and assuage the feelings of the people. If you notice, there was a, a sort of dampening, a sort of quenching of the fire, uh, a softening in the country two weeks ago when uh, President Muhammad Buhari started speaking. People listened to him, even though, especially the interview had on Iran, um, even though one might not have agreed with everything he said, but one began to understand the rationale for his actions. Sometimes you could fault him for those actions despite those rationale. Other times you could say, well, I, I do really understand where he's coming from, and I do agree with him. But prior to today, prior to that uh, two weeks ago, there was a certain sense of aloofness that the, the, the uh, people of the Federation felt when it concerns the actions of the president and his empathy towards people who have suffered some form of harm or uh, encountered some form of damage as a result of the fractured nature of the state. You see, we have not seen the government move around um, uh, the administration uh, push um, ministers out or push the, the president out to areas where even the children have been kidnapped. So people are left alone. 
and a person that is left alone or a group that is left alone do not, does not generally feel um, that they share in the national kick of the Federation of Nigeria. The national kick does not generally mean money alone. It also means security. It also means being in, invited to the table to take up appointments and support the Federation of Nigeria. It also means enjoying all the countrymen's the facilities that the state has to offer to every Nigerian citizen. If you go to different parts of this country, you'll find out that a lot of people do not even feel the, the presence of the federal might or the presence of the federal government or the presence of this administration uh, in their areas, thereby leaving certain non-state actors to actually begin the process of suppressing the people, oppressing the people in the form of uh, liberating the people and in the form of coming out against the government and speaking against the government uh, and, and pushing the different ethnic um, nationalities against each other. That is uh, where this government has uh, fallen short in terms of bringing the government uh, people together and um, uh, not worked uh, towards ending the fractured nature, nature of, the, of the state. Okay, thank you, Mr. Sukwa, for that overview. Sorry we didn't have much more time to interrogate issues with you.